deeper and deeper we go. What awaits us on this next floor? Whoa, three winged Stephanie's. Oh my God, don't attack. Okay, there goes one, there goes two, and where's the other? Where's the other? What, I killed it? Fire arrows have splash damage? I didn't know that. <laughs> At least it, it figures that I don't know everything there is to know about this game. I didn't know fire arrows, of all things, had splash damage. But hey, I'm not complaining. Made things a lot easier for me. So on this floor, we got moblins and redads. I suggest you take out the moblins first, so that this way uh, the redads don't scream at you while you're fighting them, because that would be a real problem. Oh yeah, come over here, will you? You're just... Uh, Alright, I'm just gonna, just gonna lure it into life. There we go! I love doing that. I'm just gonna take care of this one while it's done. Also, just a heads up. I'm going to attempt. I'm not gonna promise anything, but I'm going to attempt to finish this Let's Play today. For no particular reason. It's just that I really feel like playing Wind Waker and... So why not do it in Let's Play form, since I have uh, a, a playthrough currently active. So, let's just get rid of this Stephanie here, and the rest should be probably nothing but black shoes, because I don't see anything else, and uh, I don't think there are any Wizros in the Earth Temple sections. And I still can't get over the how huge the stun radius on that thing is, it's just... Yeah. Uh, I've mentioned the Cave of Ordeals in Twilight Princess um, in the last video, but uh, Paper Mario, the Paper Mario series also did use of this gimmick here with the Pit of 100 Trials in a Thousand Year Door and um, also a Super Paper Mario. And in my opinion, the Thousand Year Door is probably the hardest of them all, if only because well, if you don't go out of your way to grind on Amazing Daisies or something after you're done with the game, uh, the last ten floors can be exceptionally difficult. The last time I went into uh, the Pit of 100 Trials in that game, as soon as I hit floor 91, I had like five elite wizards, and one of them had a stopwatch, and I wasn't able to kill it before, uh, before it activated the stopwatch, so that was, well... GG no re, I just got my butt handed to me on a platter. Now once again on this floor, you want to take care of the Moblins first as much as possible, because otherwise you might get possessed or attacked by Pose. Of course, possession is the worst part, since it, uh, since it makes your control go absolutely crazy. There's still another one over there, come on. Stop moving around, I'm barely even moving the joystick, here we go. So, yeah, not a very fun sight when you're getting beat up by moblins because you've been possessed by a Poe. And uh, next up we have... Oh, Stalfos! As well as Blue Bubbles. So, Stalfos are incredibly slow, so I strongly suggest that you take care of the Bubbles first. Because, well, if you're just running around like this, uh, they're never going to catch up to you. So, come on. Just gonna... Oh no! No, 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 no! Gotta go! Go, go, go! Ow! No! No, 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 no! I'm being comboed! No! Go away! Go away! I can't believe I've had such a good run so far and now I'm getting my ass handed to me by a blue fucking bubble! On the floor where they shouldn't be threats at all. Do what I say, not what I do is the moral, the moral of the story. Uh, no, I want to hit that thing. Thank you very much. So, there's one left. After that, we're going to have, uh, we're going to be free to take on the Stalfos on my own terms. So, it's basically the same thing as usual. You're just gonna, uh, hit it, hit it, uh, especially when it's, uh, on one leg like that. It's always a better idea to, uh, to do so because if its balance is off, it's going to crumble into a million pieces easier. So, I think this was the last floor of this Earth Temple segment. Now on this next break floor, there are no recovery hearts. Just lots and lots and lots and lots of money. So, 
If you're farming money in the Savage Labyrinth, uh, this is the big prize and this is where you want to stop because the last recovery floor, well, it has nothing to do, uh, it has nothing but the piece of heart, so uh, don't uh, feel free to not do the last 10 floors if all you're interested for is the money. So, this floor, mini blends! Lots of them! Look at the slowdown, man! It's normal because whenever you uh, you kill an enemy, uh, there's um, a slide... It, it stops for a fraction of a second. So when you kill like 12 of them with a single attack, well, it may create the illusion of slowdown. Now, is this the floor that I'm thinking of? You gotta be very careful not to go too close to the center. Something like that. Come on. Here we go. As you can see, there are lots of pose. Uh, not pose, choose, what am I talking about? What you want to do, you want to be very careful not to get too close to the center of the room. Because otherwise, there are going to be yellow chews that are going to appear. And these are electrified. So, and there are so many of them that odds are that if you try to slash one of those reds or greens, that you're going to get electrocuted and you're going to accomplish nothing. So if you can manage to get the reds and greens to come down without the yellows, this is probably uh, by far the easiest way to do it. And it very rarely happens, even for me, so I sort of got lucky there. But yeah, once uh, everything is killed, you can trigger the yellows if you succeeded in not triggering them so far. And then from there, you can just kill them the usual way, boomerang slash goodnight. Of course, uh, you don't need me to tell the, to, to tell you this, but don't even bother with the chew jelly, because it, it, there are just so many of them that even if they're just chews, they, uh, they can really um, harm you a lot in this floor since there are so many of them, including yellows. Now, floor 43, Wizrobes. Absolutely, Wizrobes. Wizrobes! Thousands of them! Come on, shoot, shoot! Yeah, something that's annoying when you need a lot of fire arrows is that uh, elemental arrows have a cooldown on them, so uh, you can't just spam fire arrows, you have to wait a few seconds uh, for it to become uh, available again. So, I think I did pretty well, didn't get burned too much. Don't be afraid to use your fire arrows, by the way, because uh, they're really worth the damage that you're gonna not take. Now, floor 44. Lots and lots and lots and lots of Boko Blins in the dark on top of that, so you're not really gonna see a whole lot, so just keep attacking and the Boko Blins are gonna get hit. It, it, it ju it's just gonna come naturally because usually they're, when they're right next to you, they're not going to attack for a little bit. So that way you can really, really rack up the kills very quickly. I think we're almost done. There's one, two left over there. Is there another one left? Oh yeah, right here. And another one? Maybe? No, oh, right, there's one left. Of course it's so dark that it's pretty hard to see. So this one was the last one, so... We can now move on to floor 45, which contains... Oh, re and install foes. Uh... That was terrible. Oh, get off me! Well, come on, please, stop! Okay, here we go. Now, I suggest luring the stall foes away from the re then going after the re first, because... Well, it's a crappy idea to uh, fight Stalfos while you got those Redeads constantly screaming at you and even gnawing on your skull. So can I nail? No, not even close. At least it was far enough away that uh, it's not going to do a damn thing to me before it dies. Here we go. So can I separate? Nah, these two are going to stay together no matter what, are they? So, um... Ow! thought it was further away than that for some reason. So now it's time to attack! Not you attack me, I attack you! Stop! Every time! Now, there's one left, so uh, at least it doesn't have its buddy anymore to cover it, so... Boomerang! Hammer! Can't touch this! Okay, 
Floor 46, only four battles left before we reach floor 50 in Peace of Heart. So down here, we have three Moblins and two Dark Nuts. Can I take out the Moblins without alerting the Dark Nuts to my presence? Don't count on it, but it's at least worth a try. So, one down. Come on. Right. Get over here. Moblin. Moblin. Okay, thank you. Uh, oh my god. I'm not gonna do this, am I? Well, at least two mo two Moblins are dead. I can live with that. Okay. Now. Can I... That freaking halberd guard is just so annoying. And now... It, and now the darkness are shielding the Moblin, which is uh, annoying because... It can, as you can see, it can try and get me through the dark nuts because of the halberd's very long range. Okay, here we go. We got something, and oh wow, I actually killed the moblin with that uh, with that parry attack. So, okay, can I take that off? Thank you very much. So now I just have to keep comboing that one while the other one goes back for its sword and here we go so one dark nut a lot more man manageable and it decided to pick up the halberd for whatever reason well in general the halberd is a much better weapon than the dark nut sword so whatever we're come on okay here we go so this was really not all that hard I mean two dark nuts and three moblins Fairly easy to handle. Now, floor 47 is two Dark Nuts and two Wiz Robes? Are there only two Wiz Robes? Nope! There's a third one! So, let's just blast it out of the sky. Here we go. So, is that it? We got only two more Dark Nuts. Yeah, they really, really love Dark Nuts on these last floors. You have to be careful, though, not to hit... Uh, those uh, those walls because they're covered by electricity, which will of course damage you. And uh, by the way, the, the these uh, uh, the uh, the armors the dark nuts have on on this floor they probably should be a different color. By that I mean they should be a little darker. I'm gonna put that down to minor emulation issues like there have been throughout this let's play. No, you are not hitting me with that thing! Floor 48, and I remember what that is because I haven't run across it yet, and it's not on floor 49, that's for sure. It's two Stalfos, three Stalfos, rather, in a sea of bomb flowers. This is honestly one of my favorite floors, especially when you try to just get them to blow up with the, the bomb flowers, and... After that, you just have to do your usual thing, and, uh... Ow! Oh, wow! I, I actually decapitated another one, so... No! Stop! Uh... Is it dead? I think it died! Gee! I've killed a lot of stuff in this, in this run-through of the Savage Labyrinth without even realizing it, so... I'm not complaining at all! So, after the break, the final battle of the Savage Labyrinth.